Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of No Man's Sky. Already, when we left off, uh, we were going to go to a space station. Uh, I only just noticed while I'm here that, oh, what the, what? Oh, okay. That I didn't recognize, but they ran too quick for me to figure out what they were. Uh, that is now dead, I'm assuming. That looked like it was being hunted by a thing. It looks very dead. And I feel like I'm only adding insult to injury. <laughs> but at the same time, I can't confirm it's anything else. So yeah, it seems like it's dead to me. That was being hunted by a thing that I can no longer find. Oh, there it is. Well, that explains a little bit. That... Oh, the stock... The stock... Pem... Pay. That's a weird-ass name. I should not be swearing this early in the episode. <laughs> okay, anyway. That is space station that's off planet. That's where we're supposed to be going. And, oh jeez. Alright, do, do you have to crawl in underneath my ship? Dear gods, I forgot how big those things are. Okay, let me get into my ship. Get out of here. Alright, time to lift off. How do I lift off? I forget. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. That's not the button. That was the restore point, which I don't need. Okay. How? I forget. I forget. <laughs> How do I lift off? Well, that was a... Oh! I can zoom in. Interesting. That doesn't help me, but... That does tell me a thing I can do. Oh, it's hold to take off. Alright. Thank you for that. Otherwise, I would have been sitting here completely confused for days. Oop, that's, that's speed. Ah, that's how I do that. Okay. The photon cannon. slow down a little bit, because I'm sure that there's things on this planet I can mine and make useful, but at the same time, I am very full of things, <laughs> to the point that I don't feel I should be bothering, unless I find something that is very useful. Uh, let's move that to here. Um... Try and put uh, the simple stuff here. There we go. I should be making sure that I'm not crashing into anything. No, I'm fine. <laughs> really? Oh, that's as slow as I can go. Okay, well, um, alright. I guess that's going to be what I'm doing. I like how some of the rocks are just lowering into place as I'm speeding past. I like that. Makes me uh, remember that some of these bugs aren't entirely fixed yet. Alright, that's copper, I think. So... Is that going to get me anything? No, it's not. Okay. Cycle the weapon to a rocket launcher, but that's that's not what I'm gonna do. And it didn't look like it mined anything either, so it was completely worthless on my part. Oh, and there's uh, there's learning things here that I didn't do. Okay, well, I will uh, deal with that eventually. Okay, um, didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. Um. 
magnetized ferrite. Put that there, I guess. Um, salt, we'll put this here. Yeah, we'll put this here. Put the more advanced stuff down here. Um, as well as some of the stuff I can sell. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, fuck it. Let's get out of here. Following the footsteps of the base computer's previous owner, which is go to the space station. All right, onward we go. Breaking the atmosphere. Hard to say. Oh, there we go. Now we're starting. As well, go all the way up. Age boost. That's right. That's right. I remember now. And... Oh! Space Station isn't actually that far away. It would take quite a bit of time to get there. If I do this, there we go. Don't know where that planet came from. Just kind of phased into existence there, but I'm sure that's because it's by the space station. Ooh. Okay, still gotta get gotta get used to the fact that the pulse drive will turn itself off. Space station now. There we go. And I'll handle it from here. Nice. Bonjour, Latin Space Station Sigma. Fair enough. Out I go. Can... That's right, I can get creatures to follow me. That's right. Toggle camera view. Just because I'm curious. Yeah, I'm just kind of space astronaut guy. And, uh, wow. Hi there. Growl. Interloper. Viking. I don't understand the rest of that. Alien, large and intimidating, seems to be attempting to be friendly. Perhaps they know the one who came before me? Ask about other travelers. The alien draws back, startled. The look on their face tells me our conversation is over. Okay. Well, so much for that. It's a guard... Photographer on Sanam. I don't understand enough of that. This life form clearly occupies an important position in the station. At first glance, they do not seem particularly interested in me. Perhaps the code will change their mind. No look of recognition passes across the life form's face. We continue to misunderstand each other. Well, shit. Way 
get a envoy. Maybe you can give me a translator or some kind. The monarch monarchy is a hokey. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand this. Despite their size, the alien does not seem aggressive. But when I blink, I see that same red light that stares at me. That stared at me in the distress beacon. Repeat 16. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left Okay. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly to my exosuit. Crimson light fades away, and I see the life form glaring at me. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have witnessed it. Witnessed it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. Okay. Brings a chance to trade, learn words, or gain standing. Okay. Visit technology merchants to upgrade my ship and equipment. Visit the cartographer for directions to outposts and other buildings. Take missions from the mission agent to earn valuable rewards. Use a teleporter to instantly return to my base. Well, if only my base teleporter was powered. Alright. says use that, but I... <laughs> it's not powered, so... Would I be able to come back? Probably not. Uh, the current system colony I have... Oh, I can warp to it. So I can go that way, it just wouldn't let me come back. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, in editing, I'm going to have to slap a big old epilepsy warning on that one. Holy shit, bruh. Alright, um, insufficient power. I need to fix that. Alright. Is it the base computer? Oh, my ship got <laughs> teleported here with me. And it got teleported haphazardly. Jesus. Alright, um. Biofuel reactor. Um. Grid overloaded. Well, I mean, because it doesn't have anything in it, I would assume that's why. Uh, carbon. Let's charge it up with that, maybe? That'll at least. No batteries. Did I build batteries? Did the batteries help? Alright. But definitely isn't going to help me right now. Um, hmm. Alrighty. Well then. There's H over there. That's not what I need. There's salt and H over there. Not what I need. Rather sodium. Journey milestone accomplished. Ow! Oh. <laughs> it's just because I was walking around a little bit. Alright. Okay. Um, we're going to operate the base computer. Archives terminated. Select new task. Begin decryption. Decoding. 16. 16. 16. Message follows. The traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. Life signs detected. Reach the decoded coordinates. Possible distress signal. That is a ways away. 
And by foot, that will take forever. But... By a ship, that shouldn't be too far at all. Those things are big. Ow! You shitbird. I landed on one of the bad plants. Which I should probably identify before I destroy it. There we go. Got some oxygen off of it. Good. I'm gonna destroy these for the carbon because I do need that. I know. Just gonna destroy some of these too. Got some mordite from that as well. Interesting. Okay. Some hydrogen crystals, some oxygen, some sodium. Concentrated sodium. Ow! That hurt a little. Oh, there's some oxygen over there, too. Good. Did I get any of this? Oh! Cactus flesh, you say. Used for building and crafting. Harvested agricultural substance. Succulent edible cactus flesh from the Chino cactus plant. As well as being juicy on the tongue, the flesh has many industrial uses. Thrives only on desert planets, but can be farmed in all environments with the aid of a hydroponics tray. Interesting. Question is, how do I do that? Might as well grab what I can. Huh. Interesting. Alright. Well. Also get some oxygen. Thank you. Crystallized salt. Can I actually pick that up? Some of that? No, I cannot. I need an advanced mining laser. I have the mining beam. <laughs> Can I... No. 
I'm just gonna charge that with carbon. Can I install technology? A bolt caster. Generalist weapon attachment for the multi-tool. Supercharged metallic elements, firing them as high-velocity projectiles capable of causing extreme damage. In a general combat scenario, that might be better. But then again, I don't... I'm not seeing myself getting into combat all that much. Okay. Didn't think I'd be seeing those. It's not out here. Not that I'm complaining. Fuck you. I'm dealing with you. The Viking word for you. I know. I know. Be fixing that in a second. These are new. Where are they? No. Maybe not. Oh. Maybe they're not all that new. Hmm. I thought some of them were. Oh, hello! You have a bug face! That's what you have. Okay. Alright, well, I'm going to charge up my exosuit. Uh, or at least tech that's on it. Um, hazard protection. Let's charge that up with normal sodium. Technology and charge this with normal oxygen. It'd be so nice if I could upgrade this. But I currently can't, so far. Berg. Um. Hmm. Protection yeah, 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 yeah. Warn me when it's at 50%, huh? Eh? The Viking word for pathetic. Great. Attained confused status. <laughs> Words collected. <laughs> well, I don't know why I got the confused status, but hey. I'll take it, I guess. I keep hitting the scanner when I don't mean to. I mean to hit the fucking sprint. It is so weird to have the sprint on this fucking button. I'll tell you what. On the left rather right stick as opposed to the left stick. The left stick sounds and feels uh, more intuitive since that's also the movement. But having it on the right stick is just a little weird. At least I feel it is so far. Okay. There's also some carbon crystals. Carbon. I'll take that. We'll see why not. Well, might as well get to the hydrogen while I'm at it. Just make sure my stores are up to snuff. Don't need to worry about it. That's all. died out of some of these, too. Interesting. Alright. There we go. That should be enough, I think. I will 
really be happy when I can actually start mining some of these bigger things. I will be very happy. Hmm. I think I already did that one. That one I can't do. Whoops, a little. Alright. Might as well actually do the objective instead of just exploring around the fucking objective. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Probably. Key phrase. There's a thing there. Oh, geez. Some of this isn't loading in properly. Seeing a uh, marker for a cache that seems to be underneath me. Can I get inside? Maybe. If I can, that would explain a bit. Maybe I can. Yep, looks like I can. Huh. Interesting. A freighter terminal. Cargo pod. A master circuit. Technology is critically damaged. Oh, I'm missing the components because I don't have it with me. They're in my ship. God damn it. Alrighty, well, there's that. I can at least eventually deal with that. Hmm. This? No, it doesn't look it. Hmm. It doesn't seem like all the textures have loaded in like they should have, but... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not willing to judge too harshly on that. Oops. All right. another cargo panel or rather cargo pod that also needs magnetized ferrite to get into it to get into that? Nope. Alrighty. Yeah, that's a bug. <laughs> that shouldn't be clipping through that. Ah, well. Alright, so that's two things I can get into and eventually you know, actually make worthwhile. You know what? I have no idea what this is. It's a crashed freighter. I have no idea what this part is. What is this thing? Oh! I can call my starship to here. Interesting. That is... that. I forget. Oh, that is a custom marker that I can place. Okay, cool. Alright, well. Nothing in here. There's nothing I can break into. Alright. Um, now that I think about it, I could... Put a portable refiner here. Oopsie doodle. Helps if I hit the right fucking button, which I always forget is fucking right trigger. And fuel supply, put carbon in there. Technology Input. Uh, I think it's pure ferrite. Get magnetized. 
yeah. And all I needed is currently 10. So let's begin it. Okay. Put in the exosuit. Uh, put this back in my exosuit. And yeah, there we go. We'll use that for those two things we saw. I just noticed this is also broken open even though it doesn't need to be. Huh. Alright. Well, let's see what's in this cargo. Cargo pod first. Entered the structure, master circuit, repair. Alright. Oh! 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 Oh boy! Ho! Oh. That gave me starship fuel, but holy shit! Oh boy! Oh, boy. That wasn't good. I would have died if I wasn't quick. Okay, I guess that was just starship fuel. Which, I mean... Hey, I won't turn that down. Stabilized dihydrogen fuel. Um, it's just launch fuel. I don't really need that currently. Already pretty, whoop, already pretty set when it comes to a lot of fuel for now. Cargo pod. Got some nanites out of that. Oh, 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 oh. Every time I open those, it's radiation. Jesus. Okay. There's my colony. Rather, my uh, base. It's not really a colony yet, per se. I keep hitting the wrong button. God damn it. Doug, damn it, damn it. Owner of the Dimsdale, damn it, damn it. Okay. So, we'll break this down. Uh, that way, it's back in my inventory. Make up all the carbon. And we're good. And then I guess we finally do this thing. Answer what this thing is. The bulk of Basuki. From the MS Wings of the Anomaly. Log damaged. Partial re records available. Hmm. Signal has led me to the wreck of a freighter. Colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long-forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log blinking, awaiting input. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. I pull the blueprint from the computer, but this hyperdrive blueprint is for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. Huh. FTL propulsion drive that allows starships to attain warp speed and jump between neighboring systems. User is advised to access hyperdrive systems through galactic map. Huh. That's for my ship. Install the hyperdrive. Installing a hyperdrive in the starship will allow long distance interstellar travel. Nice. Begin the hyperdrive installation, acquire components, purchase microprocessors, and then refine chromatic metal. I already have chromatic metal. 
The only thing I need is to purchase some microprocessors. I don't know how to do that, though. I don't even know how to engage in, uh, frickin' trade, really. There we go. So far, I haven't found the Viking word for trade. I found the word for pathetic, but, uh, that doesn't really help me. <laughs> Just reminds me of what I am. <laughs> well, in that case, I guess we go back to our starship. And it also helps if I hit the right button. Whee! Life support systems at 50%. Yeah, yeah. I can see that part. I am heavily overloaded right now. There we go. And we're good. And where should I put that? Oh. Oh. Can't put that here, <laughs> that's for sure. Alright, um. I guess. Move this here. And I put it here, that hyperdrive. I can easily do the chromatic metal, that ain't hard. But the microprocessors, that's gonna be the difficult part. A compact, low heat microchip assembled from processed. Chromatic metal created from one of several specialized terrain metals used in the creation of a wide range of advanced technologies. So, could I make it myself? I guess I have to purchase it. Making money. Okay. Well, units required. Oh. Sell items at a space station. Selling toggle exosuit and starship inventories with X. Open the guide to learn how to make money. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure I know how to make money. It's not going to be difficult. At least not particularly difficult. Alright, let's charge that with uh, that. There we go. At least got that out of my inventory. Uh, hmm. Ion battery. Why did I make that? I don't remember. Hmm. Did I actually craft that or did that get given to me? I don't remember. Hmm. Interesting. don't remember, but... Hmm. I don't... I don't know if I have enough words to actually do the whole rigmarole. Uh, it's hard to say, but right now we're going to move on to the space station. I wonder if I can do it from here. Ah, can't be in the atmosphere while I do it. Fair enough. Can boost. So, at least until I'm out of the atmosphere, then I can go to the space station terminal.
Okay. So far, so good. Getting a basic gist of what I should be doing. engine and one more second and space station probably shouldn't be boosting but I want to get in there faster all right perfect now it will land it for me <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. If it is, I don't care. Doing it anyway. Well, hello. Alright. And data store 2M90N1. Electric trading terminal. Hmm. Oh, that'd be great. For 76,822 units. Well. Gemstone formed over the course of centuries within the egg of a super incubatory species. Highly ornamental, these gems are themselves living seeds. Loosened grains of potential life. The demand is pretty high. Plus 21.6%. Well... That'll make me all the money I need. And then some. Alright. Marrow bulb. The, uh... It's not gonna give me too much, but it gets it out of my inventory. Okay. Oh. It's a per page when I go down. Okay. Mordite. Don't really need that right now. Um... Don't really need to get that away right now. Is someone behind me pointing? Is that what's happening right now? I don't I don't know. I'm not sure. So bad. Um Larval Core. Oh, I see. That's okay. The demand for living slime is so low, I wonder why. Maybe because it's gross. Uh, viscous fluids has a demand? Why? Oh, the demand on that is very high. Sentinel forces will respond to stabilize any such anomaly. That's why they came to try and kill me. That makes sense. Okay, well. Foundation. Attain entrepreneur status and units accrued. Huh. Oh, interesting. The demand for platinum is low? Come on! Platinum's awesome. Not just because it's my favorite fucking metal, but, uh, because it is my favorite metal. Besides the paint... Move on. Um, larval core. What the fuck is this? Oh, this is the stuff that I could possibly sell. I just don't have it. Okay, that makes sense. Fair enough. Now I know. Um, hmm. other ships landing. Interesting. Tripping milestone accomplished. Oh, yeah, I earned a lot of credits. Just selling a whole bunch of shit. Damn. 
earned money maker. And wow, okay. Alright. Just need to remember to buy the fucking things. That would be nice if I could remember to buy things. Uh unstable plasma. Lemium. Pure ferrite alloy. Okay. Crafted from pure ferrite and uranium. Fair enough. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Microprocessor. Just needed to buy... Five, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was five. Okay. There's that. Oh. Oh. It's a scout person. Okay. I already... I already put... I already put the in. Hey, if it's... If it's impolite to use your jetpack, fuck you. I don't care. Um, Starship. Hyperdrive. Chromatic metal's already installed. And we put those microprocessors in. There we go. Installed. Complete. Oh, yeah. Crap. Warp fuel. Find antimatter recipe. What? Antimatter recipe? Ship. Yeah. Auto diagnostics report. Hyperdrive successfully installed. Yeah. Hyperdrive fuel status empty. Well, you don't say. I only just installed it. My hyperdrive is complete. Perhaps I really will find answers out there amidst the stars. But without warp cells, I will be going nowhere. I need to find a source of some antimatter. scan from orbit. Okay. I'm just happy that you launch is free when you're in the planet. This... Oh, so this is the planet I discovered. Okay, cool. Okay, so in that case... This is going to take a while. <laughs> going back to the planet this way. Uh, but it's fine. Antimatter trace detected. Target locked. From this planet. Alright, well, uh, for now, we're going to head in that direction, but uh, it will take us plenty of time to get there. Um, well, I mean, plenty of time if I do it at the pace I currently am. Um, I will eventually be doing it with the pulse jump, but that will be in the next episode, because I love my cliffhangers. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments and bring more more. Wow, I fucked that up real bad. Let me try that again. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments and bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. There we go. Now I did it. Jesus. I'm getting a little rusty. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and... Searching the galaxy for tips and tricks, I guess, about, well, also trying to figure out why the fuck I'm here, but there's also the fact that we 
still need to understand uh, how to travel among the stars. That's still a thing we have to do, and uh, we're slowly but surely getting there. For you.